So the mm-hmm. question now I have is that when when these are the advantages and we saw that multiple people had yeah. multiple point of views before joining the course yeah. and there are very positive uh, reasons why we should join. Yeah. So um, if that is the motivation of people joining, then why the completion is not so high? Hmm. I think completion has a lot of dependency. The completion rates, as they call it, has a lot of dependency on the number of entry entry points. Now, when a resource is available so open, right. it is natural that most people will try to have a look at it. Right. And they will come in... No, but even if you think about the MOOCs that you yourself have enrolled for huh. and yes. you have completed... And because I have of enrolled reasons, for, because of yeah. the flexibility. Yeah, yeah. So, I have enrolled for more MOOCs than I have completed myself. Yeah. And one reason for that is that you are ambitious at the time of enrollment. Yeah. That you are attracted, you feel you want to learn that and so you say I'll enroll and later on priorities change and you say that okay look or you get a little bit out of it and you are willing to run with it. Yes. So th- that um, has been the issue for me. How many will agree with been... this point that when we, when we look at a MOOC title or even abstract, we expect some uh, some range and we already know that because it is open and mm. flexible we have a chance of skipping something mm. now the when the actual MOOC starts we decide the other way we actually skip a lot mm. and only keep a fraction of it yeah. like uh, we, what we wanted to do maybe probably people have a look at only uh, so I'm coming no, to I, the point. I kind of I have an analogy here so I, it, to me looking at a series of courses available in a MOOC or a, or a bunch of MOOC platforms is like browsing a bookshop. So I'm browsing a bookshop and no, I buy a bunch of books. I read a little bit out of many of them. I cannot even buy uh, any book. Just walk out. Just read a lot of books. Yeah, yeah, what else? So I buy books, but it takes me a lot of time to complete that. But do you read every book, every word? So So the analogy to me works that, yeah, you're interested in the topic. You want to kind of browse through it, get a feel for it. And then and keep it back if you, you don't like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going by the same analogy. Now, if the bookstore guy says yeah. that books are for free, mm. okay, just take whatever you want, <laughs> and you can also browse. <laughs> so the bookstore will appear in your house. Yeah, no, that's, so that's beyond right. a point, so, my house yeah. will start getting cluttered. <laughs> right, and right. Yeah. Yeah. but you still, books back still, into the store. Yeah, but <laughs> still, I think you want there also. I'll carefully choose the books. Yeah. I mean, for me, I, if there is a genre, let's yeah. say it's fiction, or yeah. let's say. It's biographies. I'll just sell it. My house is my bookstore. No, no, no. It it works in a way that so people will will still take, but not read is exactly what. So I won't take. I won't take books that I yeah. know for sure that I won't read. You are you are one of the sample correct, correct, one of the who sample. will be choosy correct. while taking and we yeah. uh, But only if you think there is a chance I might read it, you might pick it up. Yes. There's a higher likelihood you might pick it up if it's free. Yeah. yeah, there is a higher likelihood. Higher likelihood, yeah. that's all. Right. Right. If you're yeah. not going to read it, there's no way because it will be yeah. junk. And correct, that's correct. a bigger problem. Correct, correct. So, I think so you, the, the owner allows you to just tear out a chapter and go oh, home. Yeah, <laughs> I don't destroy books. Not that way. It's like, like, it's like, it's like, like he allows you to Xerox uh, one chapter of one chapter choice. Of the book. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm saying it's it's uh, whether knowledge taking is is more modular in nature and you would love to. It's a, so you actually, you know what I would like uh, if I knew that the bookstore was close to my house and I could go whenever. You just I go wanted there and to, read. I would just go there, read when Whatever, I wanted uh, to, have the coffee they serve and come back. Yeah. Because the atmosphere is also pleasant. I would. Uh, it's not the book as much as the whole experience and access. So I think the book analogy we can uh, it's very good, we actually. can yeah. move, I mean, but I think we are done with that analogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and this is um, the MOOC is a bookstore. Book that, it's that analogy. Okay. Now the other thing, the MOOC is a class. MOOC That's is a the class. Other. It's the other analogy. Yeah, where the connect is the important yeah. thing. Important yeah. thing. Uh, okay, I have a different reason. Okay, I mean th- I agree with this reason also, but my reason comes now from the interaction and human perspective. So I'm not making a, an analogy with uh, books bookstore because to me MOOC is not. I mean, it's more of a living thing. It's more like my fitness classes. Why? So I go for multiple fitness classes. The ones where there are fewer people, 
I know the teacher and I know the my fellow participants. Okay. okay. There is a little bit of a responsibility towards them. It's like I know they're expecting me to okay. come. Nobody will yell at me. Mm-hmm. But there, are, if nobody shows up, the teacher is alone, and I feel bad. And if all of us go, the class is a wonderful class, yeah. you know, because it's not just the Close teacher. Knit. It's not just one on one. On the other hand, there are, I recently just dropped out of a class which was happening in IIT. There were 70 people, okay? Oh. And I didn't know the teacher. I didn't like the teacher. That was a separate <laughs> thing. And it was so impersonal and she was just doing her own thing. There are some students who were great and I was just trying to emulate them. But it was, yeah. there was no connect Scatter. for me in that mm. class Scatter. at, no at all. Mm. So, uh, just so why that I don't know if that's just the massiveness or the lack yeah. of connect. I think connect. Mm. Connect is the point, yeah. I think. But, mm. so, but the connect is the important yeah. thing. Important yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, you have to either connect to the instructor or to other people in the class. Yeah. I mean, there has to be that feeling of togetherness. Yeah, and the feeling that it, I matter, either I matter in some way, that somebody cares about my learning or my presence or... Hmm. I mean, that's what happens to the... I mean, even in college, when hmm. the attendance became non-mandatory, either it was that, okay, if I don't go to class, I can't pass the exam. That was one motivation. Hmm. Uh, can't pass the exam or I, I really want to learn this, something. But there was also this thing that, look, if I show up there, there's somebody who's noticing it. And that was both a nice thing as well as a responsibility.